So there's currently a new Xbox Series S that's on the horizon, coming out relatively soon. I'm assuming Microsoft is getting it ready, especially in time for the holiday season, as that seems to be one of the hot seasons that we've been seeing the Series S flourish in. So in this video, I'm going to go over, for those of you who haven't yet purchased one of the Series consoles, but are thinking about it, whether it's worth just buying the current Series S that's out, or investing in the new Series S that'll be coming out in a couple of months. Let's take a look. So to start, for those of you who've been following this channel, I myself, I own both the Series S and the Series X, and if you've seen many of my videos on this channel, you'll know that I love the Series S and think it's fantastic bang for your buck based off of the amount that it retails for and what you get for what you pay for. However, on the horizon, there's now currently, as of September 1st, going to be another version of the Series S out in the wild. And just taking a quick look at it, if you look, the biggest difference, biggest two differences come down to color and storage space. So as I understand, the hardware itself is nearly identical to the Series S, but the color itself is now in full black, as well as it now has a full one terabyte hard drive built into it out of the box, which if you've seen my Series S review, or if you've seen my video on what console you should get if it's the Series S versus the X, the biggest thing I talked about was the lack of storage space, and unfortunately, how expensive it seems to be to upgrade that storage space between those consoles so the one terabyte addition to me is huge because if you look at what the series s currently retails for we're at about 379 and i'm seeing some places list the series s black one terabyte edition for 449 so if you do the quick math that's about 70 dollars more to get double the amount of storage space so if you look at what memory cards are going for like the official ones that you have to get because unfortunately you can't just get a, any portable hard drive these have to be expansion cards certified by microsoft for them to be compatible for most of the next gen games so if you look at what those cost on sale they sometimes go as low as 129 as i'm seeing here but in most cases, they're around 150 or so. So you're technically getting double the storage for even less than buying an expansion card out of the box. The secondary thing, though, that might turn some people off, I myself like the white and black combo of the Series S. So the full black might be something that some people aren't so hot about. But for me... The storage space itself is probably the biggest issue that needed to be solved with the Series S based off of what it offers. So if you're currently looking at purchasing a Series S at this point, my opinion would be to hold out until September and wait for this console with the upgraded storage space before you make any purchase on the Series S because in my opinion, the biggest issue I had was the lack of space and how quickly these hard drives fill up with some of the latest games out there. Now, of course, we do gotta keep in mind there is a little asterisk beside these consoles or the Series S 512 versus one terabyte and that's that around the holidays as well, if you're willing to wait, almost every year since the Series S has been out, out, it's came down dramatically in price around the holiday season so there's also a strong chance if you're waiting to willing to wait a little longer best case scenario you'll get this for a lot cheaper around the holiday season worst case scenario you wait a little longer and you should be able to get the one terabyte version and in my opinion it offers tremendous value for what it is at that price point so thanks for watching and subscribe if you like this type of content and I appreciate your feedback as always.